Right here on the red carpet, some of the most highly touted NFL prospects have just taken their final walk toward their future. College game day enters Kalamazoo for the first time as the Broncos have rowed the boat to a 10-0 record, one of only two teams in the country to remain perfect. It was a lead that they did not surrender, withholding a furious Irish comeback. In Allendale, I'm Annie Agar, 24-Hour News 8. It's not the big dance, but the Michigan women's basketball team found themselves playing for a championship today. The Wolverines facing Georgia Tech in the NIT title game. The Riverbank run is filled with many stories, from those of inspiration and faith to overcoming the odds. The story of one father-daughter team in this year's race goes beyond the spirit of running. It starts with a captain named Ruby and ends with an angel by her side. On the fast break, pass to Kendall Coyne and she lights the lamp. USA up 2-0. After a thrilling last-minute comeback in Week 1, the Detroit Lions looked for a boost from the home crowd this afternoon to hopefully move to 2-0 on the season. And the guys played hard last game, they're playing hard this game. And you guys are two games back in the division, four games left. To win out would be a lot of security. Are you guys thinking about that, or are you just taking it game by game right now? Uh, trying to take it one day at a time. But... Second quarter, Tyler O'Connor airs it out. 38 yards. Donnie Corley, in a SportsCenter Top 10 fashion, hauls it in over the defender. Somebody call a doctor because that was sick. The Spartans added a two-point conversion and a touchdown right before the half as they led 15-7 at the break. Plenty of question marks around several key starting positions, but there is no question MSU has the leadership to silence the doubters once again. The Cleveland Indians and the Detroit Tigers with the rubber match of their series. Top five, Justin Upton goes boom to deep center field, a 450-foot two-run bomb. Put the Tigers up 5-2. To, to the fourth, the good came with the bad. Redskins driving, Cousins fires, but is intercepted by Barry Church, who takes a knee on a Sunday. That led to this. On the next Cowboys drive, Alfred Morris taking it in from four yards out, and Morris getting the last laugh against his former team, as that proved to be the game winner. 27-23 Cowboys take out Cousins and the Redskins. Day and as Annie Agar shows us, with one unlikely player in the drive lineup, perhaps in the starting five. When it comes to making it in the NBA, sometimes you only get one shot. The odds are stacked against you. However, one local guard out of Ohio decided to defy those odds. Coming out of high school, I wasn't like this highly recruited kid coming out. You know, I was small. I was like, you know, six foot, maybe like 140 pounds soaking wet. And, you know, a lot of teams, you know, pass up on me, not because of my skill set, but more so my size. Jamel Morris chose to attend Fairmount State in West Virginia on a Division II scholarship to play under coach Jared Calhoun. Uh, I expected to do well because I put in the work for, you know, like the time, the hours I put in, like after hours before practice or after practice or even days we didn't have practice. You know, the hours I put in, I really I, I expected myself to do well. The work paid off. After graduating, Morris signed a one-year deal to play pro basketball in Italy. And then came an opportunity. Morris took part in the Grand Rapids Drive's open tryout, along with 110 other hopeful players. But Morris was the only one to get a call back. It was, a, it was a bittersweet feeling. You know, it's kind of like, I don't want to get too excited because you, know, you still got to go make it in training camp. But I was definitely excited to get the opportunity. That opportunity grew into a starting position on the drive. You know, this is something that you really want to do. It's like any profession. If there's something that someone wants to do, you want to get up and do it. I mean, that's what wakes me up every morning, knowing that I have an opportunity. That I'm blessed to be in a situation, regardless of where I came from, and um, just keep going on from there. With the story, Annie Agar, 24-Hour News 8. Thanks, Annie. And like to drive the Grand Rapids.